Papa told me that I was coming back home, but I didn't really know when I was going to get back there. I wasn't quite sure about whether we were going to catch the boss. Or, you know, sometimes he used to hitch around sometimes around about that time, but hitching wasn't getting a bit too good at the moment because there was a union strike out with some of the truckers that used to go through this area. So sometimes, you know, it just wasn't too good to be on the road late at night. So I took myself down to this uh, this trucker's place where I knew that some of them wouldn't be staying that there that night. And, and of course there they had a good fire going and they were talking about union yes, stuff. Yeah, and uh, yeah. and um, well, I just hung around for a while. <laughs> Yesterday. So we had a smoke of weed and we had a drink and we just uh, wasted basically, or well for me, a whole lot of weight because, I mean, there was me trying to get down to real walking, you know what I mean, but these guys, they weren't moving. And then lo and behold, about six o'clock in the morning, just as I was going to start doing my ablutions because I'm thinking I'm getting out of here, lo and behold, out of the mist came this vision. Of a woman, the kind of woman that I've never seen before. Suddenly, mm -hmm. I'm not there. I swear by God, there's a shadow hanging over. She had toes as big as a nose. She had knees reaching me. She had a bomb on her as big as my head. I can tell you, my friend, this girl, she said, Now don't go picking on any old girl, any old girl won't do. Now don't go picking on any old girl, but I'm the one for you. I don't know where I'm fucking going, sorry. <laughs>